Hi everyone, Pam Gregory, astrologer. I'm going to be speaking to you today about the second half of November and in particular the new moon that we have coming up in Sagittarius on the 22nd. Just as background to this, we still have Saturn moving through the late degrees of Scorpio. It's been in Scorpio for a couple of years and Scorpios have found this pretty hard going. It's been very much about hard work and patience and Scorpio is always about intensity as well. And we still have Mercury in Scorpio. So Scorpio energy is very much about digging deep and bringing things to the surface from our unconscious, which may have been long buried, but it always has this intensity around it. And we have had a pretty intense few weeks. We had the two eclipses in October, and people, I think, felt those very strongly. There's some pretty dramatic events happening to friends and, and clients through, through those weeks. So this new moon in Sagittarius on the 22nd gives us some upbeat, some positivity. People with the sun, the moon, or the ascendant in Sagittarius will be likely to feel this. So it's a very expansive new moon. Also, anyone born from the 17th to the 21st of February any year, or the 18th to the 23rd of May, or the 21st to the 25th of August or November will also be likely to feel this. This new moon is going to be exact on the 22nd at 4.32am Pacific, 7.32am Eastern, and 12.32pm lunchtime in the UK. Now, Sagittarius energy is, is fun-loving. It's, it's full of optimism and hope and visions for the future. It's, an, it's a very energetic feeling. It's about what's meaningful to you. So it's connected to belief systems and your, your spiritual and your religious ideals. It also is about posing big questions about the nature of reality, sort of big philosophical ideas are very associated with, with Sagittarius. So it has this lovely wide-ranging feeling about it. And there's another quality that's coming into this new moon because, the, um, because Neptune, which is the planet of spiritual connection, is square, this sun and moon in Sagittarius. And I'm very much reminded of, of Einstein, who had the sun in Pisces, which is ruled by Neptune, and he also had his moon in Sagittarius. And this Pisces, Neptune, Sagittarius combination, I feel is quite, quite mystical. So apparently Einstein used to go out on the nearby lake, he used to take his boat, usually at night, and he'd just stare up at the stars and the night sky and and kind of blue sky, if you like, about the nature of reality. And some of his theories of universal law were apparently born um, when he had those, those visionary moments. So there's something very special about this. In addition to Neptune being square, the sun and the moon, Neptune, also a few days before the new moon, on the 16th, goes what is called stationary direct. And that means a planet is changing direction. So Neptune has been moving retrograde for quite some time. On the 16th, it becomes stationary direct and starts to move forwards in Pisces. It's going to be in Pisces for some time, some years. So a planet's symbolism is always magnified when it goes stationary direct. So with Neptune, it's the planet of spiritual connection, of intuition, of creativity, it's very much about tuning in and whether you tune into music or nature or art or poetry or you tune into your meditation or your breath work, it's, it's essentially an altered state that gives us a sense of inner peace. So that symbolism is going to be heightened on the 16th and for the few days running into the new moon. In addition, Chiron, which is also in Pisces, also goes stationary direct the day after the new moon on the 23rd. It also has been moving retrograde, goes stationary direct on the 23rd, and then continues to move forwards. So the symbolism of Chiron, which will be magnified then, Chiron is really the mystic bridge. It's about shifting our spiritual perspective upwards. So commonly, if you're um, experiencing a transit of Chiron, someone may hurt you for instance, and you often have a sense of raw injustice, you know, it's just not fair. 
But the message of Chiron is to move from that perspective, from move, to move from that pain to a higher perspective where we can perhaps think, well, I've outgrown that company. And in months to come, we'll look back and think, actually, that was a gift because it's helped me move on. So with Neptune and Chiron now both moving forwards in Pisces, um, for some time to come, we have a feeling of whatever our challenges and losses in the recent past, we have a feeling of being able to, to move forwards. So with this new moon in Sagittarius on the 22nd, where does this fall in your chart, zero, zero of Sagittarius? Which area of life does it affect? And what new intentions can you set that are about being more expansive in that area? Where can you, blue sky, come up with bigger ideas, bigger visions of how you want to live and how you want to be in that area of life? It's a great opportunity to do that. It's a very special new moon. So really enjoy and get the most out of this new moon in Sagittarius on the 22nd. And if you want to know any more about my book or um, any more detailed information, there's some, a free monthly newsletter that goes out to just check out my website, www.thenextstep.uk.com. And thanks for listening.